Symbols. There's a lot of gear that goes into a drum kit, but if you have to break it up into just two camps, you got drums and cymbals. I love cymbals. The sound is literally hammered into them, and each one could be unique. Even two brand new identical ones can be slightly different, like cymbals take a life of their own. And in drums, you can make a cheap drum sound good because you just tune it. But if a cymbal stinks, it stinks. <laughs> It's a common drummer saying, which is, you can tune a drum, but you can't tune a cymbal. Out of all the cymbals, my favorite supply are the hi-hats. You can just do so much with them, but it's the big ride cymbals where I get all romantic for cymbal sounds. So you've read the title of this video and muttered, well, like, how can something sound dry, mate? Like, does the desert make noise or something? Well, how can a beer be dry? Is it just full of sand? It's an expressional term, like the same way you can have warm and cool colors, despite them all being the same temperature on the shelf at the Bunnings. A big thing about cymbals is sustain how long it makes noise for after you hit it. Ones that sustain a lot are washy, while ones that die off quickly are dry. You also have bright and dark and a combo of all of them. And in light of proof of this, we need a special guest. Every comparison needs a referee, and for this, it's my Zildjian K Custom 20 inch Dark Ride. This is the first ride symbol I ever bought brand new, like 12 years ago, back when I was still a music student. I had to put it on lay-by and chip away at it. It's still killing it today, and it can do just about anything. Like, it makes a great crash sound. And it's got enough stick definition, i.e. the ting sound when you hit it, and it's got a nice wash and sustain under it. It's the best all-rounder symbol I've owned, and hey, I was gigging with it right up until COVID took all the gigs away. So before we go dry, mate, let's have fun and go the other way, and an example of a bright boy. This guy's bright not just in sound, but holy heck, look at it. <laughs> the Zildjian ZXT Titanium 20-inch Rock Ride. These were a huge flop. It's just a beginner symbol with this crazy silver look and whatever's on it. She's bright, all right. They do look cool, but like they get really dirty and daggy looking super quick. These are hilariously rare. These weren't far off of pro symbols for their price for what was a beginner symbol that just looked really shiny. So, you know, folks just got the pro ones. So if clean and shiny is bright sounding and we're trying to find dark and dry, then I guess we need to find a dull and dirty looking symbol then. Well, look at this peisty prototype ride. <laughs> it was like it was used as a shield for a merchant sailing ship, like shrugging off musket bowl rounds. Did Blackbeard the pirate owned this, and if you look close, you can see really complex hammering underneath that as well. Made in Switzerland, John Bonham played Pisces. It's darker and it's got a lot of stick definition, but if you hear the crash again, it still crashes. See, like for it to be truly a dry guy, it's gotta enter the bonk zone, which means it's time to bust out a guy I've owned since like 2013. I used my university jazz award money to buy it and it's been my favorite jazz and groove ride ever since getting it. It's my Zildjian K 21 inch special dry ride. It's, it's in the name. It's got dry right there. If I'm in doubt, I just bring this guy and look at it. It looks like it's made out of lava rock and that's because it's unlathed. When a symbol's made, it's like a cookie and then it's rolled out and it's stamped, hammered, trimmed, and then the top layer is taken off showing the shiny bronze underneath. Well, they didn't take the top layer off this guy. <laughs> Whatever color the metal turned while it was heated and pressed is what color it is when it's done, which is also it means no two of these can be truly the same. But if you look at the backside, it was lathed. Just to show you that yes, underneath that is very shiny bronze. There it is! That's a bonk! Barely any crash at all. So I hear the K Dark Ride. And now hear the bonk.
This is a dry symbol. I mean, those big hammer marks just dissipate all the energy when you hit it. Also, like, we're done, right? Like, we found the holy bonk. No, not at all. You see, this was the dry symbol I ever owned until I found this. Uh, yeah, it's another 21 inch K Custom Special Dry Ride. The color difference is huge, hey, and like, just as I said earlier, due to them being unlaved, like, they're just gonna take on their own patina. But why would I buy another one? If I already had one! Well, I've been collecting symbols for a really long time, and I follow Hazel Shield on Instagram. Dude has an amazing vintage drum store. It's nice buying collectibles not on eBay for once, and his page just shows off all the wild stuff he gets in stock. This freak appeared as a video, and I had to buy it. I mean, dude collects and sells vintage symbols for a living. He's heard a lot of symbols, and he was in awe of how dry this guy be. I've never heard a bonkers bonk as this in my life. It's Max Bonk. It just bonks so hard. Sure, you could cover a symbol with tape and then it will bonk. But like, you have to specifically hammer a symbol for it to be like this naturally. Whoever made this thing at the Zildjian factory must have a face as straight as a horizon. No smile, no laughter. Just dryness. It's nuts. It's lathed on the back, just like my other one. The hammering is the same. I, d I don't know how! And on a, I don't want to know of a symbol drier than this. It would just sound like you're tapping on a wooden table. But to have a symbol that goes this far is so fun. And you betcha I'm gonna use this in my drum streams. And like, I'm done talking, so like, the C is all out. Fan for fun! Hey, let's have them all in order, from brightest to bonkest. <laughs> 